What's up, guys? I'm Ben. She's Christina, and we're the McMillan Express. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, I did this. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, gosh. Wait a minute, I get the giggles. Hold on. <sighs> Hey guys, I'm Christina. And I'm Ben. And we are the McMillan Express. And today we are going to talk to you about why you should join the, the Harvest, Harvest Host, Host community. community. So what is Harvest Host? It is an RV membership that offers a different type of camping experience. We have been Harvest Host members, members for almost two years now. Yes. And some of our favorite stays have been anywhere from wineries to breweries, farms. We've even stayed at a flea market. There's a bowling alley now. There is a bowling alley now, yeah. And they offer golf course stays also. That's correct. Today we are at the Mayo Family Winery in Wine Country in California. That's for sure. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, baby. Hey, thanks. Yeah. This winery is special not only because it's in wine country, but there is a separate Mayo Family Winery reserve room that you can do a food and wine pairing, which we, we did today. And it was fan. Fantastic. We can't tell you how fantastic it was. Seriously, it was so good. <laughs> Whenever you become a, a member of the Harvest Host community, there's so many different types of places to stay that you're going to really enjoy. So there's the regular package, which we're, we are members of the regular package. Mm -hmm. That is $79 a year. Um, if you use our promotion code, you get a 15% discount. That's correct. We've stayed at all kinds of different places. The museums that we've stayed at, we've enjoyed so much. We're going to link a playlist of our Harvest Host stays in the description below so you can see all the different Harvest Hosts that we've stayed at. We don't record every single one that we stay at because a lot of times we're just passing through. Mm -hmm. A lot of times the Harvest Host itself is the destination like it was today. And today it was definitely the destination, being able to stay overnight in the middle of a vineyard in wine country in California. You can't beat that. Today has been a dream come true. When you drive around, you see the vineyards, everything looks like it does in pictures and movies, and it, it's just been phenomenal. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. But we do want to reiterate that Harvest House is not just wineries a lot of people think it's just wineries and if you're not a big wine person then you don't want to join harvest host well that couldn't be further from the truth some of our favorite states have been farms what has been your favorite harvest host uh, it'd have to be in the farm range which would probably be the alpaca farm that oh. we stayed at in maine yeah yeah well, i think my favorite one was in new jersey yeah. which was also a farm a produce farm yeah donaldson farm in hackettstown new jersey yeah yeah <laughs> and just to reiterate, make sure you guys use our code so you can take advantage of the 15% discount. So all Harvest Hosts are very different. You can go on their website or their app and kind of look at what they can accommodate. This particular Harvest hosts required reservations. 
that's very rare, but it's in kind of a high demand area. You don't want to just show up. You definitely want to call ahead, uh, preferably the day before to make sure that they can accommodate you. Some harvest hosts can accommodate seven or eight rigs. Some harvest hosts can only accommodate one. Some harvest hosts can accommodate big rigs. Some can only accommodate class B vans. So you really want to be mindful of not just showing up um, and making sure that you can actually fit there and that you can stay there comfortably. Right. Yeah, case in point, the uh, harvest house that we're staying at this evening, which is the Mayo Family uh, Vineyard, uh, actually only has one spot available mm -hmm. for, you know, any type of rig. So, mm -hmm. you know, like Christina said, make sure you call ahead and uh, make sure they do have ample space for you guys to, uh, you know, camp overnight. Yeah, and they all list what they can accommodate, slide outs, um, if they will allow generators, barbecues, lawn chairs, pets. Um, a lot of them will have electric cookups. A lot of them will have places that you can fill your freshwater tank. So uh, don't abuse it. Stay your 24 hour stay period or your overnight stay period. If you're invited to stay back, of course, you're welcome to, to stay longer. Uh, treat it as just kind of an overnight stop. Yeah, but if they like you and you're, uh, you know, you're tidy and you're cool, and you're cool like us, they might invite you to stay a night or two. So, in closing, why should you join Harvest Host? You know what? There's really no reason why you should not join Harvest Host. Exactly. You will love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs>